So, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. Actually, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, thought you might be. I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was ten and never looked back. Always thought, oh, mommy, you're in shit. Hey. Need something? So, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. Actually, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, thought you might be. I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was 10 and never looked back. Always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. What were you doing in the Capital Wasteland? I was born there. I lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. We kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but having adults around was something you couldn't trust. How could a bunch of kids survive without help? Everyone pulled their own weight. Just like a colony you'd find anywhere. We all had our designated jobs and we washed each other's backs. Can you believe I was actually the mayor for a while? Me. Crazy, I know. Pretty brave. A bunch of kids living alone like that? I don't know. Looking back on the whole thing, I think we were just lucky. Anyway, when I hit 16, I ended up wandering the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I used to ride with the caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. Made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit. Which pretty much brings us to now. So there you have it. My whole life in a nutshell. Sounds like the road can be a lonely place. Until you meet someone to share it with. I, no, I, I never thought of it that way. Maybe that's why I feel so comfortable telling you all this. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass. I mean, I know I tend to be arrogant and I come off like I want to be alone. But nothing could be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. And now we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I miss having someone I can depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. Hope you got something out of all that. I know I did. Oh, big mistake! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got it.